Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Pages panel contains tools for inserting pages into a PDF document, as well as tools for editing and manipulating pages within a PDF. To access the Pages panel, click the Tools button in the Common Tools toolbar, and then click the Pages panel heading within the Tools pane to expand the Pages panel. If you do not see the Pages panel within the Tools pane, ensure that you are viewing the default tool set by choosing View, Tool Sets, and then Default Tools from the menu bar. The first few commands within the Pages panel are used to manipulate pages. Clicking the Page Thumbnails button will expand the navigation pane at the left side of the application window and display small thumbnail images of the pages in the PDF. It can be helpful to use the Page Thumbnails panel in conjunction with the Pages panel. For example, you can use the Page Thumbnails panel to quickly navigate through the PDF by clicking any thumbnail image in the navigation pane to display that page within the main document window. If there are many pages in a PDF, you can use the scroll bar at the right side of the navigation pane to scroll through the page thumbnails. You can also use the Page Thumbnails panel to select multiple pages within a PDF to which you can then apply a single command from within the Pages panel. To select multiple pages, click the thumbnail image in the Page Thumbnails panel of the first page to select. The selected thumbnail image will appear surrounded by a light blue border. Then hold down the Control key on your keyboard and then click on the other thumbnail images of the other pages you want to simultaneously select. Even though the main document window only displays the last page selected, you can see that the other pages remain selected as well because they will also appear highlighted within the page thumbnail panel in the navigation pane. Any command for which there is a selection option within the pages panel, such as rotate or delete, can then be applied to all the selected pages. To rotate pages in the PDF, click the Rotate button in the Pages panel to launch the Rotate Pages dialog box. Then decide the rotation direction by using the Rotation Direction drop-down. You can choose which pages to rotate in the Page Range section. You can choose All, Selection, or Pages. If you make a selection of thumbnails in the Page Thumbnails panel, or just select one page before launching the Rotate Pages dialog box, then Acrobat will automatically choose the Selection Option button for you because you already specified the page or pages that you want rotated. If no selection was made, it will default to the All Option button choice. You can select the Pages Option button to enter a page range to rotate into the adjacent From and To text boxes. This is useful to rotate a consecutive range of pages. Acrobat also gives you the ability to rotate just the even pages, the odd pages, or pages of a specific orientation by using the two drop-down menus that appear at the bottom of this dialog box. When you click the OK button, Acrobat rotates the pages per the specification made from the direction drop-down. To delete pages from the PDF, click the Delete button in the Pages panel. If you want to delete only selected pages, Use the Page Thumbnails panel in the Navigation pane to select the pages to delete before you click the Delete button. After clicking the Delete button, the Delete Pages dialog box will appear. You can leave the Selected Option button chosen to delete the pages selected within the Page Thumbnails panel if you use the Page Thumbnails panel. You can also select the From option and then enter a page range to delete into the From and To text boxes to delete a specified adjacent page range. Then click the OK button. Acrobat then launches a pop-up message asking you to confirm your choice. Pop-up messages often appear in Acrobat when you're about to execute a command that cannot be undone. 
If you click the OK button in the message box to delete the pages and then try to choose Undo from the Edit drop-down menu, the command will be dimmed out and unavailable. Of course, if you really didn't want to delete those pages, you could still close the PDF and click No when asked if you want to save the changes to the PDF. To extract adjacent pages in a PDF into a separate file, Click the Extract button in the Pages pane to launch the Extract Pages dialog box. If needed, enter the Page Range to Extract by typing page numbers into the From and To text boxes. Note that the extracted pages must be adjacent within the PDF. You cannot extract non-adjacent pages at one time in Acrobat. Then select what to do with these pages by checking the desired checkbox options. Delete pages after extracting and extract pages as separate files. If you choose the extract pages as separate files checkbox and then click the OK button, the browse for folder dialog box launches and prompts you to select a destination folder for the new files. If unchecked, the pages will simply be extracted into a new PDF once you click the OK button. To replace pages within a PDF, click the Replace button in the Pages panel to launch the Select File with New Pages dialog box. Use it to navigate to and open the PDF that contains the pages that you want to use to replace pages within the current PDF. After choosing the PDF, the Replace Pages dialog box appears. In the original section, enter the pages in the original PDF to replace by typing a page range into the From and To text boxes in the original section. Then enter the pages to use as the new replacement pages by entering that page range into the From and To text boxes in the Replacement section. Then click the OK button. You will then need to click the Yes button in the message box that appears to confirm the replacement. Now under the Replace Pages button in the Pages panel, you also have the Crop and Split Document buttons. The Crop tool is used to eliminate unwanted space around the outside of image files, and the Split Document tool is used to divide a PDF up into more than one document. We will examine the functionality of these buttons in future lessons. Beneath the Page Manipulation buttons within the Pages panel, are a group of buttons used for inserting pages into your PDF files. The first is the Insert from File button, which launches the Select File to Insert dialog box, where you can navigate your computer to find the file that you want to insert into a PDF. Under that is the More Insert Options button, which gives you access to commands for inserting files from web pages, from a scanner, or from your computer's clipboard. Beneath that is the Combine Files into PDF button, which lets you select multiple files from your computer to combine into a single PDF. The final group of buttons in the Pages panel are for editing page design. The first one is the Header and Footer button, which gives you access to commands for adding, removing, and updating headers and footers in a PDF. The Background button lets you add, remove, or update a PDF's background. The Watermark button allows you to add, remove, or update a PDF's watermark. Finally, the Bates Numbering button gives access to commands for adding and removing Bates Numbering to a PDF. We will study the functionality of these page editing tools in greater details in later lessons. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.
www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.